Alright guys, we are back with another episode on the Craftonomical server, playing the FTB Revelation pack. And right when we get into this, guys, we're going to do one more Wither fight, and we're going to see how we fare up against him. Uh, here we go. Uh, I'm actually going to go head back home. I forgot my arrows. Um, so here, let's go like this. Come on, give me some arrows. There they are. Now let's get on over back there before he creates too much havoc. Um, so off camera guys, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, grinding work. Uh, I got Soul Stealer 5, Sharpness 5, Reaper 4, and Looting 3, and then Efficiency 5 and Fortune um, 3 on my pickaxe. Um, so they are they're pretty uh, OP right now. Let me grab my bow. Alright, where's this fool at? There he is. Oh, yeah, it's bond in yet. Oh, dang. Oh, I just killed that bunny. What a guy. How could you just kill the bunny? What did the bunny do to you? Okay, so we're going to keep shooting him. Hopefully, he doesn't target us, which is always awesome. So we can just sit up here and get him down to sword mode. Should be able to, like, four-shot him almost with the... Oh, he found me. Did he? Oh, yep. Found me, found me, found me. Ow, ow, ow. Can we fly, please? <laughs> like I kept falling. That was really weird. Okay. Okay, let's eat an apple. Oh, he traded. Oops. Um, might not be a bad idea. Or this might be a bad idea. Was a bad idea. Was a bad idea. Am I dead? No! <laughs> Rip. <laughs> well, uh, we were able to kill him. Uh, so now we won't take any fall damage, even though we don't have any, don't have a need for it now. Um, let's see here. So we did need one more Nether Star, and the reason why we did this fight. Um, let's see here. Is that everything? I think so. So the reason we did that fight was for this Nether Star, and because not because of just one Nether Star, but I really need. Oops, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Let's put the ring on. Okay, um, we need to build a Wither Builder because today I'm gonna see if we can knock out a uh, automatic Nether Star farm. That is the goal for the episode. Sorry that I told you guys so late. If you guys are still hanging around, you guys are cool. Where did that? Oh, I need the skulls from the. Um, from the void dimension. Now, if we look here, our farm has been crack a lacking. Uh oh. Why am I getting items? Shouldn't have gotten items when I walked in here. They should be getting thrown away. Okay, so I need. Stop giving me dang items! <laughs> okay. So if we go. Oh, come on. If we go on back here. Let's just, eh, screw it. We'll just throw those in there. Now, Wither Builder. I don't know how this works, but we're going to need a power cell. Advanced power cell, sorry. Uh, that's Butcher's. There we go. I need to get rid of, give all those guys their stuff back. Um, and then a linking card. Actually, that one's already linked. Yep, okay. All right, and then we need that, and then we need the uh, force field. Now, I've heard that this works. I don't know how I got two of those. Pretty sure it duplicated somehow. Okay, and then we're going to need some flux ducts. We're going to go with these bad boys. Um, I think I think that's all we need for now. Now, I don't know how that... Oh, we're going to need our draconium stuff. Uh, let's just look up. So, mob grinder. I don't know if we'll need the generators, but we're going to take them anyway. All right, perfect. Oh, I forgot my dank no. Forgot the dank no. It's not very dank if you forget the dank no. I'm going to take some of this. We're going to take a wand. Take some more of this. This will be the foundation. And then my dank no. It's so dank. Too dank. Oh, yeah. And I put my, our chest piece over on the uh, armor stand over there. So it's pretty cool. Um, so let's see here. When we come in. Perfect. We're going to build it right here. We can still fly. 
I've done that a few times where I've walked in here and for some reason it unchunk loads and I've just fallen to the bottom of the void. Yeah, it's it's not fun. Okay. So the force field, I gotta see how this thing works. This thing is quite confusing. All right guys, so I did a little research on the forums and they're saying that when applied a redstone signal, oh, there it is. Look at it. Okay, and then I think it goes 32 blocks before it stops. Okay. And it doesn't require any power, which is the freaking awesome thing. Does it just retract like a lightsaber? I think it does. i just do that. Okay. Boom. All gone. Um, so if we do this and then we place a furnace, dang rain. If we go like that, will that stop it? Oh, it will. Okay, now what if we have redstone here? Okay, so it just stops with any block. Okay. Oops. Alright, let's get rid of this. So that means we can make a killing chamber for these. Okay. Alright guys, so I think I got a working method going on here. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't know where to turn around. Okay. So if we look here, we have this one going across the bottom. And hopefully that... Okay, actually... Maybe if we move it back one more. I'm just trying to make this, guys, so we don't end up dying and stuff like that. Or we don't end up uh, setting him loose here and then he destroys one of our farms. And, oh, that would not be that would not be a great day for the Turtle Club, that's for sure. Um, but let's go ahead and move that block there. So maybe, maybe this might help. I don't know. Um, okay, so. Oh, that's going to go all the way down. Um, so let's break this. And that. Okay. Maybe I'm being too cautious. Um, that's always a possibility. But. Okay. And then we're just going to throw. We're going to throw one of those under there. That way it won't go all the way down. We can do that. Perfect. Okay. So let's have a look here. We have looking good, and then we can just go like this, finish off the look, call it a day. All right, it looks a little weird there. Okay, so I'm gonna have these so we can retract them. So there'll be a little switch here. Uh, oh, actually not these. That's for the top. We'll have a switch for these ones. Okay, perfect. All right, and then this is where the magic will happen, where they'll die. Okay, now the Wither Builder. I don't know if it can withstand Wither Blasts. I, I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Wither Skull, Soul Sand, Energy. Can we... Oh, it, oh! Hold up. So if I place this here, we say show working area. Oh, <gasps> no way, that's perfect. That's freaking perfect, guys. Oh, yes. We'll just say always active, okay. So then we need to worry about the grinder, which I think we're just gonna set these bad boys up here and right here that way you know we don't we don't run the risk of destroying anything um, and then I don't know if these accept power oh they do perfect so now we can run these down actually actually just run them through right there okay this magnet is seriously like the most helpful thing in the world Oops, not you. Actually, that that was it. We just need... Okay. And then right here as well. That's it. Yeah. Okay, run the power cable down. And then we'll run it across. Oh, <laughs> you got to be kidding. 
Oh, no, really? Man. I'm short by one. Ah, man. Um, hmm. What happens if we move him here to that? <laughs> Just move him over by one block. And we'll be able to do it. Oh, there goes that. Um. <laughs> Jeez, though. All right. This isn't getting any power, though. Do I need to have a generator right next to it? Is that what's going on? Huh. Hold up. At Draconic Evolution. Hmm. RF capacity. No, that wouldn't be it. Um, dislocator. What does that do? I miss the book that Draconic Evolution used to have. I really do. It would help out with stuff like this. But we need... Slightly creepy mystical device taps into the energy of the dragon. Oh, that's not it. Um, yeah, I used to use the dislocator. Man. There. That was my other method for doing this. Um, hmm. Oh, energy infuser. That's what um, AZ Badfish had mentioned to me. So it actually looks like we're going to have to get a ender chest here that's pumping charcoal into our system. So give me one second, guys. I'm going to get that over here. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've got these signalum plated item ducts. And what these allow us to do is transfer items and redstone power at the same time. So they're pretty cool if we go like this. We should see them start to go out. And yeah. Oh, geez. It went back in. Hmm. If we get rid of this one, replace it with uh, one of those. Okay. Might need to break that. Yeah, I didn't need to. Okay. Now, items shouldn't be allowed to flow up into there, which is the good thing. Okay, these are already up at a stack, so these are hauling butt. These are already full, so these should start filling up, right? Right? What? Oh, I bet they're filling up the RF. They're filling these guys up? Yeah, they are. Okay. Once these bad boys are all filled up, they should be good to go. But um, this is pretty uh, self... Yeah, this this works too. Check it out. So all we got to do now is pump items into it. Okay. Now, how are we going to do that? So let's look here. Hmm, how do we set up auto-crafting where it's doing it on its own? Because if we look here... Um, so, soul sand, we have a little bit of it. We don't have enough to keep up. What we're going to need is a way to make it. And I'm pretty sure if we use sand and the stuff from the farm, we'll be able to. So we can go ahead and obviously make a pattern for that, but how do we set it up automatically? Is there a way to do that? Let me look in Applied Energistics, okay? Give me one moment. All right, guys, so we're going to get into a process of automating the sand production. Um, as you see here, we have a crafter that we will be able to use, but we're going to need to make some cobblestone generators. Now, I'm not quite sure how these work, but I think we can use these uh, hopefully so let's see here choose two cobblestone constantly we're gonna see if we get up to 16 so let's see here we need buckets I'll grab eight water and then eight lava okay and then we'll grab some lava now Oops. Whoops. Let's get these in there. Okay. Let's go pick these bad boys up. Make sure they don't despawn, which there was no chance of it anyway. Okay. 
grab that one. Perfect. Okay. So let's see here. We're going to make a few more of these. Um, eight. Perfect. Okay. And then... All right. So let's see here. Let's get a uh, servo like this. All right. Um, what if we just... I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, what, what do we do? What is the meaning of potatoes? Is it like this, and we just go, ta-da? Oh, there's cobblestone in there. Okay. Oops. How do we get you out? Is it like so? Out the top? Okay, maybe not. Um, let's go to at nuclear craft. N n n new nuclear. A nuclear. Is that his eyes spot? Yeah. Um, hmm. Looking for pipes, maybe that would allow us to do this. Uh, I don't see any. So maybe that's just for that. Anyway, we can go ahead and we do have some more lava buckets. We do have a lot of water everywhere. So we're going to use the transfer nodes. We're going to place it once so that way we don't have to worry about mining it again. Um, so let's see. We need that. We need an interaction upgrade. So let's look at just upgrade. I can't spell. Upguard. There it is. Okay, perfection. And then we should have a few speed upgrades if I'm wrong. Or well, not wrong. There you go. And then we need a pip. A pip. Perfect. Okay. So we got some cobblestone out of that somehow. I don't know how we extract it, but oh well. Uh, let's go like this. We'll place it, make it beautiful. Okay, and then right here, oh, that was a weird noise. Okay, and then lava, water, this guy, this guy, those guys. Oh, I need to put cobble here. Um, oh boy. Let's grab, let's grab the lava. Okay. Like so. Ta-da! Boom, there we go. Look at that. That's producing lots of stuff. Alright, so we need to take that cobblestone. We're going to need to pulverize it and we will do that by going right into the bottom okay and then we'll put the redstone furnace up top okay and then we're gonna make another chest so let's see here ink Place you there. Then we're gonna get some bone meal. Place you there. Make some light gray. Okay, perfect. Now we need to make another ender, or we need some wool real quick. We need to make light gray. Or gray, that's all we needed. And then ender chest, ender chesticle. Like so, fill it in. Swap out that. Boom. Okay. Oh, I need another one. Whoops. Um. Uh. Uh. No. <laughs> uh. 
Now, guys, do you spell gray, G-R-E-Y, or G-R-A-Y? Hmm. There's decisions. Decisions, eh? Uh, let's just... Go. Oh. And then ender chest. Because I spell it yes ways. Okay, perfect. Let's grab two diamonds. All right. So this is where the sand will come from. Now, is anyone using this channel? Ha! That's funny. They're using the same channel I am. The gray for the withers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why that didn't work. Funny. Okay, and then out the top. Now we just grab some power from right here. Like so. And then this will start automatically crafting. All right, so we knock, we've knocked that out. Now we need to grab some more flux ducks. I have no idea how long this episode is. I need to check that pretty soon. But not until we've got some more progress. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're getting pretty close to the moment of truth here. So what I got happening over here is the Wither Skeleton Skulls. I don't know why it's doing that. I think we're running into a bottleneck over here of how much resources this can take out. Yeah, we're getting stuck again. Um, huh. Wait, did that hit the max? I have no idea. These items are still flowing in. I don't know, but anyways, guys, um, if we go over here, we're pulling the wither dust stuff, this thing here, the wither dust, from over there, putting it into a chest here, along with the um, wither skeleton skulls, throwing them into a crafter over here, along with our auto sand producer. So anytime this fills up with sand, it automa automatically makes five soul sand, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and then as soon as the soul sand's made, it's thrown over here and put into there. Now I want to see here. Okay, we have everything sealed off. Top is sealed off, going the right way, okay. Yep. Okay, there's no holes ever, any, this guy can't get out. Okay. Here's the moment of truth, as soon as I enable this, it should spawn, okay, let me, let me check something here. Um... Oh, this is nerve-wracking, everyone. Oh, oh, my gosh. Here we go. Okay. Did it work? Okay. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if this was a good idea. It's working. <laughs> Guys, it works. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, it's working. Freaking, freaking sweet. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's go on down here. That's so sweet. Okay, now we need to get like a vacuum chest almost, right? Um, let's see here. Or actually, uh, let's just get an ender chest going because I believe on the back of each of the... Uh, grinders is where you can throw stuff in, if I'm not mistaken. And they will automatically go into a storage system. So let's see if that works. If not, we'll get an ender chest or a uh, vacuum chest. Mm, vacuum hopper. We'll try one of those instead. Oh, need one of these. This episode might be long. going to have to do a lot of cutting. All right.
This is so awesome. Cause it, so we need to, oh my gosh. Um, what? Not good. So he glitched out of there because there were too many withers in there. So that's a problem. Um, I'm going to die here. Yep. Freaking withers. Gosh, dang it. So aggravating. Ugh. All right, guys. So he did destroy that little area. Uh, our armor did phenomenal, by the way. Uh, I never even took a heart of damage. Even with withering, it took all of the heat. But I've gone to head down here and I've added in a timer that points to our wither builder. Um, and this is activated with a redstone signal. And this only activates every thousand seconds or a thousand ticks for now. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. This way it's not too crazy when we build it. So let's see here if this is working. All right, guys, here we go. And this should work. Okay. Stop! You're not supposed to be doing that! Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, we need a vacuum. Ah, <laughs> hopper here. Um, down, item, okay. Hmm. All right, guys, so we got it working just how I want it. Let's check it out here. He's about to explode. Boom, he's already gone. Then another one comes in. And then, let's see here. He goes, pop, and gone. And another one shows up. So guys, we're using this system over here. Uh, it's a mob crusher, um, and it just kills this guy as, basically as soon as he spawns. And then puts the items into our chest here, which I haven't made private yet, so all this is going where it shouldn't be. There we go. Now it's going into our system, as you can see. So if we just do one of these, it will eventually just take it all out. And so guys, this will run whenever we want. So I'm, oh, that's probably really loud for you guys, isn't it? Actually, probably not that loud. Okay, perfect. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up the episode here for today. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle and we've got Nether Stars. Peace out, Bye bye